maximum recording time reached. This is really starting to get old because I get in my my vibe, I get in my groove, and you know, like Cusco from the Ember's New Groove, he's like, "You messed up my groove, man." <laughs> But it's, I'm ending up having to split these videos into two parts because I didn't change my settings to my internal storage. I realized my memory card was out of storage and it was set to default memory. I'm, I'm recording off a tablet right now, so uh, yeah, and, and that just drives me crazy. I can never get like one good recording where it's all like just in one video it's always like let's split it up into two parts and uh i don't even have the freaking editing software to put it all together so i like the way the first one was going so i'm going to continue it in a second part and hopefully in the future i won't be having that problem again because i'll, I'll get like a better sd card that's got more space so i put so much music and 64 gigs Actually, no, there's a 32 gigabyte memory card, SD card micro in here, and it's not even that much. So, all my music is like 20 gigabytes, takes up pretty much all the space. And I put the 64 that I have in my phone because I like the, um, and I wish they would fix this. Please fix this, people. This was the coolest app ever. Man, I love WinApp. WinApp was the shiz. And it got shut down because AOL, you know, almost closed it in 2000, like, something, 12, 14. It was recent. And then they they actually sold it off to another company who bought it. And they promised to restore it. So, I mean, it still works. And I love this, this feature on the Pro. Um, yep, I was listening to that band. The Jet Set Life's Gonna Kill You. That's my favorite one by them best album like but it has this graphic equalizer you can turn it on and off it just boosts the bass like crazy my friend he hates this mix you see how i drive the mix like bass all the way up all the way up a little down little down low on the mids but still turned a little up and then high on the treble so you get you get like this like deep bass and you get crashing cymbals so i i love the as being having been a drummer before, originally in my first band, I love to hear the cymbals. I love to hear the the clashing of the the rides and everything. And a good song that has a great example of good drumming would be, I guess, the Atreyu song, "Falling Down." I love the way he's just hitting the ride, like it's in your head, all the voices mistaken. It's like jazzy and it's it's like rock, but everything I love and the guitar is really mixed heavy and loud like the 80s which is what I love I was actually complaining about this one band on YouTube who's uh, I think it was all that remains they sound great on the uh, the uh, the CD mp3 versions well not on my phone but they sound horrible on their video for some reason and it's not their fault it's just I don't know what happened to their mix. The guitars like turned down way too low, and I you know it's like even my old guitar buddy I've talked to, he he kind of is like going in that direction. They they like that lower guitar mix, and not me. I'm like all about the the, the guitar being like in the '80s, like loud guitar. I don't want it to overpower the bands. I don't want it to overpower the vocalist. I just want it loud, you know, it's prominent in the mix. Good kicks like a solid kick drum for the the doubles on the the, the drums and in loud cymbals and loud guitar and then if the vo the vocalist seems to be a little drowned out you just you know turn her voice or the volume of her voice up in the in the recording louder than the other instruments and then there you go you have like a really kick butt sound and i don't know so for some reason that my friend's always like, no, turn that, that turn that off when I have it playing in the car. Is like, no, don't use that mix. But yeah, so I have all my my 64 gigabyte card, in, you know, here because I need all that music. I have just like a little bit of my phone music on the tab. 
it's like I prefer to have all my music on my phone because I have that a that app on my phone and I can't download it and put it on my tab and anymore because it's not supported. Like I can't play, I can't turn on Winamp for some reason and play songs when the internet's turned on because the, the pro like is looking for the the lyrics. You know, it's like it's got like a lyric feature that used to. That had had like a database and it could detect the song that was playing over the internet and give you lyrics. This is the time when phones didn't have that stupid bullshit data crap. I used to have unlimited data on my older phone. This was my older phone. Do I even have it around? I don't know where it went. It was the Droid 2. Like one of the first ones. I had the Star Wars edition. Awesome. And... That was one of my favorite phones because I had a physical QWERTY. That's another complaint I have. Like, what happened to those physical QWERTYs? I know people want a slim phone, and I love this whole, like, tablet slate type phone thing, but I, I freaking hate this digital keyboard. You know how many typos I've had using this digital keyboard? Crap. It's, like, ridiculous. Like, I mean, look at this. If I go to Google, for example, Okay, go to Google. Here comes up the here comes the digital keyboard. Like even when I'm typing turn. Even when I'm typing like this, the, the space bar, I end up hitting period every time I try to type a space. And so there's like periods every time I'm like and not only that, but like if you accidentally rest your finger on the keys, it types no matter what you do. So before on a court key, you can rest your fingers on the keys, but unless you actually press down, it's not going to type anything. So, and you could get a feel for the ra the raised keys helped you feel where you're typing. So I could type with my eyes closed practically, like when I got used to to using it with my thumbs, and then I was actually becoming like a master typist. So awesome. But you can't you can't possibly do that with a slate phone unless you're like superhuman. And uh yeah, okay, well. Hmm. I know this seems like a random web webisode. It is. I'm not really sure what I'm doing with my channel at all. <clears throat> I just thought I needed to upload something. And uh you know, I've noticed something else too. This may seem also really random, but is it just me? Or is like Starbucks kind of like a little overrated? Because when I first I got this black, and of course I like to get a black because I mix it at the house. Like I, I like having them make the coffee because they can make it so much damn better than I can. And my machine needs to be cleaned out. Like I'm a I'm a coffee elitist. Like not elitist, but I I demand my coffee to be really well made. And so like I I, I have this like. Mr. Coffee, the traditional um, coffee machine that that you know drip brews the coffee and with the grounds and it's like one of the nicer models and um, I I like want to like every month clean it out with the the cleaner solution and put in these like they have these filters that like filter the water to make the water like not taste like chlorine and I'll even I'll even use like a bottle of of like purified water too not even not even tap or or whatever i'm i'm using like the best i could so it's already it's already filtered water but then it goes through a second filter in the machine and it just tastes fantastic and once you try that and you, you for the first time you just you're just you just can't go back to any other way but my machine, it hasn't been used in a while, so it needs to be cleaned up. So I just go to Starbucks and they make me theirs. And it shouldn't taste like butthole when it's black, even though I go and I, I mix it myself with like milk and cream at the house. And I, I like my coffee mulatto, like believe it or not. It's like perfect. It looks like diarrhea. You want it to look like diarrhea. That's... I know that sounds awful, but that's how I like my coffee. I call it the Obama because it's half white, half black. Don't kill me, man. Uh, I know that sounds racist and shit, but I'm not. I love black people. Um, represent. I have an inner, 
inner blackness to me. Um, so yeah, so it's like, I love my coffee, like, mixed that way, where it's not white and it's not black, and if I get them to do it there, they sometimes make it too sweet, too white, a lot, mm -hmm. oftentimes, because that's just, like, how their customers usually tend to like it, you know, living in fat America, everyone wants their sweetness. Hmm. But it sh at, when it's black, though, it shouldn't taste like freaking butthole. Like, I don't necessarily know what butthole tastes like, but, I mean, I'm just using metaphor here. <laughs> it tasted pretty, like, bitter and awful. And I remember watching, a, like, a documentary about coffee, and, like, Starbucks admits that their coffee is naturally very bitter tasting. And, uh, so, Why? Why, why, like, if you want to be the best coffee chain, wouldn't you want your coffee to taste, like, naturally sweet, even when it's black, and, and not, like, wormwood? Like, tastes like that French, when I went to Epcot back in the day, as a young kid, it was, like, they had this, like, drinks around the world, and they had this, like, like, you could taste different drinks, and an America drink was, like, Coca-Cola, obviously. <laughs> and, uh, one of the drinks from, from Italy was this, like, or France was this, like, bitter like, shot of, of, like, stuff that they drink at, when they're eating all their pasta, because, like, they put, like, garlic in their food and everything, and it's, like, you know, those Mario dishes. It's, like, mmm, magnifique. <laughs> and that's why they have that drink, but it tasted, like, butthole, like, ugh. And that's what it reminded me of, like, and so I'm wondering if it's just a gimmick, you know? It's, like, I'm not trying to hate on them. I'm just saying it's, like, like, maybe, like, if you're trying to be the biggest coffee manufacturer, why, why make it taste, like, bad? Like, it's like, it's like, they're, I almost feel like these, these, like, evil overlords are like, ha 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 ha, our coffee they really tastes terrible, but we're gonna make everyone think that that's desirable, you know, and we're gonna, like, play this psychological mind game with them where, where, like, bad equals good, and then, like, that's something that we're gonna condition them into, into looking for in their coffee, and so it's, like, all the good-tasting coffees, they're gonna, like, be like, no, that's not premium coffee. Premium coffee's gotta taste, like, like, you just downed a bunch of, you know, Listerine, or, I don't know. So, yeah, it's, like, maybe, maybe I'm, like, changing my mind about it. Like, I love, I love that, like, uh, Barney's, uh, what is it called? Santa's White Christmas. Oh, that's the best coffee ever. And if you ever have Keurigs, man, you have to get this. You have to get Black Magic, Dark Magic, sorry. Dark, it's a dark espresso. And Folger's uh, Mocha Swirl. And then make a, like a, in a 16 ounce mug, make half and half of those mixed together. Oh. That's the best freaking coffee I've ever had, ever, hands down, ever, best coffee, try it, try it, I promise you, you're gonna love it, and, uh, a good tea to have is, you get the, um, chai by, I think, is it, oh, what's that brand, darn. It, it, they come, it, it, there's like, uh, shoot, what is that brand? Starts with the T. Funny how that T, it's a T that starts with T. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, there's like Stash. I know one of them is Stash and the other one's with that T brand. And it's like Tago, uh, Tao. KOT? I, I don't remember. It's got like this like circle graphic with the line in it. I don't any or like a cross. I, I don't remember. Um, there's like a chai, and then you mix the chai. It's the red packet. Man, my hair is like crap today, dude. Look at this. I look like a mad fucking scientist, dude. Oh well, whatever. Screw it. I'm going with it. Um, there's that, and then there's the uh, this. Calm. It's called Calm Tea. So you mix the the stash like uh, chai. It's the red packet. You mix the Calm together. One's yellow. The Calm is yellow, and then the other's 
red, and then I just like stick both of the packets inside a boiling cup of water, and I let it stay there. I drink it with the tea bag still in the tea. That is such a good tea, man. I love that. I call it, um, Kamchi. I know that sounds uncreative, but that's like my special like mix. So you can always remember Matt at a AKA Scarecrow eighty nine. You know that's his uh, special little you know tea brew, and you know drink it in honor of me. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Um, there's also one other special recipe. That's amazing. It's called apple cider mixed with chai tea. And I call it apple chider. <laughs> you know, I don't know if anyone's ever said that before. You know, I may not have invented it, but I'm going to take credit for it. Haha. <laughs> Just because you heard it from Matt. Hmm. Yeah, so, uh, you know. Having an okay morning, I guess, and uh, having my little morning coffee, and I guess a little morning vape. I had to get that out of the stout on camera, you know. Like I, I, I told people I, uh, I'm an app pro advocate for e-cigs, and so might as well. Put it now in my channel so no one bitches at me later for it. This is be haters, but whatever. It helped me quit cigarettes, so I'm happy. Um, <clears throat> yeah, freaking take that New York City <sighs> to to that Bloomberg dude. Whatever. Who what, is it? Bloomberg? I don't remember that douche like politician dude who was like oh I'm gonna ban everything like socialism ban the big gulp because Americans are unhealthy and we gotta like control their consumption of of like soda it's like jeez dude like if you here's what I do I uh I don't care so much about drinking like I don't ever drink soda like usually I don't drink it like the sugar version of it I drink soda is like this this was yesterday's, and uh, it, but it's like sugarless, sugar-free. I mean, it's still not the best thing for you, but <clears throat> um, I just don't like having all that sugar. Um, but when I do have like a 32 ounce, I'm never drinking a 32 ounce of any particular soda. I just fill that bitch with ice, like a big, big old, and I mix half of it with water, and then uh, using those like fountain machines, and then I mix. Uh, I do a suicide, so most of it's like. Diet soda, but a little bit of regular soda, so it turns out to be like less than three grams of sugar, and it's in a giant, and most of it's water, so it's mostly to hydrate, and you get a, like a nice tasting, flavored water drink, and it's like I just don't understand why anyone would torture their bodies drinking 32 ounces of soda a day, but you know, I I teach their own, teach their own. Who am I to judge, and the fact that we even live in a time where someone would have the freaking balls to like, to tell the American people, like, you can't, I'm going to, like, ban big, you know, sodas past 16 ounces. That's just, ugh. You know, like, everyone has a right to make their own responsible decisions. I mean, yeah, sure, put a warning on it. I don't care. Just say, like, hey, warning, this, this may cause diabetes. Like... I don't mind that so much, but when you tell people, like, how to freaking live their lives, like, it's just, it's just stupid, you know, it's like, just like the, the fact that we haven't legalized pot yet, but that's, you know, a whole nother conversation. Um, I don't really have much more so far, that I, I just felt like throwing shit together, and, you know, things that I'm into, um, this is another thing that I love so much. This, I found this gum the other day. I love pineapple. I'm actually vaping a pineapple juice that I made. You know, this is the Gemini bottle. Um, I know this is not the what it came in. Obviously, I, I'm reusing this glass because it's got this like little dripper. That's that's awesome. And these things, these vials can fit easily in you know, like your shirt pocket and whatnot. So I reuse those vials. This, this was Enter the Dragon by Gemini. It was like a red juice, really good strawberry. 
but um, 12 milligrams and 15 milliliter bottles but I made the special kind of like pineapple blend juice and so I obviously am obsessed with pineapple and I found this gum I've never seen this before this has just come out I guess and holy crap it's like you know freaking it's like fireworks in your mouth man but other than that I really don't have much else for you so like keep uh, subscribed subscribing and uh, maybe maybe I'll get some more you know like material that's way more exciting than just me rambling and ranting on nonsense uh, you know what could I what could I throw in here Scion 3D I'll see you guys later.